Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today it's about flu valve C sump pumps, SP series pumps. In fact, we got a nice lineup for you right here. Here are the three different models we have, the two, four, and six. So you've got different performance levels, our packaging, and last but not least, the SP4 that we have on demo for you here. You can see that this pump is outputting a lot of water. This is one strong pump. Now, when we're talking about uh, sump pumps, you're talking about hardware that has to endure. A sump is a tough place for a pump to be, especially when you talk about salt water. And when you, one of the things a package has got to tell you is that it is in fact recommended for marine use. And when it comes to the Fluval SP series, it most certainly is. It's designed with that in mind. That is mentioned right on our packaging. It's not just another sump pump, it's one that's designed to be in salt water. When you look at our packaging, head height performance graphs, so it shows you clearly what the performance is at different head heights, very important to know. Also available for you to see on fluvalaquatics.com, as would be the general specifications that we show you on the other side of the box. So all the info you need to know which pump you need to buy. Pumps are made in Europe, well engineered, uh, they can be plumbed both in and out of the sump. You can locate these outside the sump if you want, no issue. When you talk about performance, let's or the features rather, let's have a look at the SP4. Now looking at the front of this pump, you can see that it's got a little grid structure to prevent matter from getting in there because believe me, the flow suction is really strong. You're talking about a pump with alumina ceramic shaft and bearings. That's really important because it's material that's non-porous, so reduces friction, increases the lifespan of the pump. You've also got a very rugged impeller assembly inside. This is one tough impeller. It's designed to endure. You've also got a pump that's uh, designed to withstand 40 degrees Celsius temperatures. Comes with a very convenient mounting base with isolation feet. This is kind of a soft rubber material. It'll prevent the pump from uh, creating any resonant frequencies or vibrations keeps the insulation quiet. So this is a well put together pump designed for the right application or for the application you're buying it for. You just put it back here. Let me hold on to that guy. Now, when it comes to maintaining lifespan of these pumps, there's some things you gotta do on a regular base basis. Three or four times a year, it's highly recommended. Take the pump out of its installation, put it in a one part vinegar to four parts water solution, run the pump submerged in that for an hour or so, let all of the deposits uh, dissolve, rinse it well with fresh water and reinstall. Now a couple of points when you're installing your pump to help prevent certain potential issues is a 90 degree elbow. When you're doing an in sump application, a 90 degree elbow that picks up water a half to one inch off the bottom is highly recommended. It prevents the pump from pulling air or vortexing air down, which would lead to going into the uh, volume of the pump and cavitating, which is not the best thing. So 90 degree elbow so solves that. And then when you plumb it in, Outside your sump, you want to make sure that you put a valve before the inlet of the pump and a valve at the outlet of the pump. That facilitates removing it. So true union ball valves are a good way to go. Real quick and easy to isolate your pump to take it out for maintenance. So there you have it. SP series, sump pumps, flu valve seat, well engineered, durable, the right pump for the right application. Thanks a lot for tuning in and make sure to hit us up at fluvalaquatics.com if you've got any other questions, we'd love to hear from you.